I went and bought a Humvee from a guy down in Florida. He had it sitting in his garage for about five years. So what I wanna do, I wanna turn this to one big epic mobile gaming Humvee. And to make that happen, we have collaborated with the Army National Guard. They have sent us the amazing Sergeant Jonathan Colt. He's actually local here in South Carolina, uh, the National Guard. And um, he's gonna help me out here and I don't know. Make sure you didn't buy a paperweight. Exactly, I'm scared. So we'll, let's All do right. it. Well, let's get started. <laughs> All right, okay. so first thing we're gonna do, just gonna take a look around the outside, the body of the vehicle, make sure there's nothing broken, inoperable. Got a little bit of su surface rust going on here, but that's nothing too major. A little right. bit of body damage here on the hood. Um, other than that, it looks to be in pretty good operating condition. You got Gosh. pretty good bit of tire wear here. I would highly recommend getting a new set of tires. Yeah, these are bad. This is like basically bald. It's, they're drag slicks at this point in time. Yeah. So. so like I said, we're just gonna do a walk around real quick. I'm gonna look through, make sure your, uh, your brakes are fine. Mm -hmm. um, make sure there's plenty of life left on your pads. Yeah, those look good. I'm just basically, like I said, running through it, making sure there's nothing uh, Right. Nothing wrong. So did you primarily work on Humvees? I do, yeah. Primarily. Or you still do? I do, You yeah. still do? Okay. Um, so I'm in the South Carolina National Guard. I'm at the, with the 133rd Military Police Company in Timminsville, South Carolina. Okay. Um, we're a military police unit, so we primarily operate out of Humvees. Um, so I'm very familiar with the Humvee. Uh, I've yes. been with the South Carolina Guard for 13 years now. Okay. Uh, well, going on 13. July will make 13 years. We're going to okay. open up the hood, take a look underneath. Oh boy. And we'll be ready to roll. We're just gonna kind of look around, uh, make sure your belts are fine. Um, they're a little loose. That might be why you had that squeal when you came around. Yeah. We can tighten those up, no problem. That's not a big deal. I'm gonna check your oil. Perfect. Sweet. You need some washer, oh, uh, washer fluid, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, I should probably wash the vehicle first. <laughs> <laughs> So, am I good? Not yet. Sir? Not okay, yet. We got a couple more steps to go through. We're going to grab some iPro. Okay. And we're going to go underneath. This is really important because you don't want anything falling in your eyes while you're underneath the vehicle. Right. So, uh, we got our iPro here. We're going to scoot underneath. Check it out. Oh, boy. I'm coming with you? Absolutely. Okay. Ugh. A creeper makes this easy, but not necessary. <laughs> What's a creeper? So Creeper is a platform with wheels that you can oh, slide okay. back yeah, and forth yeah, yeah. on. All right. All right, so we're gonna start at the front, just work our way down. <laughs> Good thing I have Pro on. <laughs> <laughs> just make, uh, you know, you're looking for any obvious damage or leaking. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm looking for any, uh, any class one, two, or three leaks. So a class three leak, class two leak, class one leak. Class one is gonna be any, uh, any residue you see. So on the bottom of your oil pan here, that's, that's just a class one leak. It's just a little bit of residue, um, residuary from a previous leak or anything of that nature. Mm -hmm. Class two is when you see, actually start seeing it beating up. And then class three is a major, um, you know, is actually dripping or pouring out of the vehicle. Okay. All right, so like I said, we're just gonna look through, look for any leaks, any obvious damage. Um, is that, that, is that is a wrench? That is a ratchet supposed... wrench. I don't know who worked in this vehicle last, but they left a wrench here. So this is a, it's a high dollar wrench. Yay! So that's... <laughs> It came with tools. That's yours. Yay! <laughs> so we're gonna work our way down the middle of the vehicle here. I'm like scared to grab this thing because it's so rusty. Um. Uh, uh, that's not ideal. If you come look this that? way, uh -huh. you got a big chunk of your bell housing here missing. Is there supposed to be more piece there right here? There is supposed to be more piece right here. Oh, I um, see, because like on this side it exactly. wraps all the way through. So you'll need a new, oh gosh. You'll need a new bell housing here. Um, oh, no. That, and then your exhaust up here, you've got a pretty major exhaust leak. Oh, uh, just some rust is rusted through. Dude, that looks like it went all the way. Yeah, that's halfway around That's not it. ideal. Oh my gosh. All right, so moving from here, we're gonna go to the rear of the truck and just continue right. looking for any leaks or damage. So this is your fuel tank. It's a 25 gallon tank. Mm -hmm. uh, this vehicle is designed to go 300 miles. On 25 gallons of fuel, you can do the math there. It's not very good right. fuel economy, but you know, it is what it is. 
I'm gonna check out your U joints on your drive shaft. Those look to be good. Okay. And then just moving back to your rear diff, you're just looking for any class one, two, or three leaks. Everything looks good there. I'd, I'd give this a seal of approval. Yes! Yay! Seal of approval! You got the seal of approval. Thank God. So <sighs> I've heard a little bit about what you want to do to this, but what are your final goals? What are your intentions on this vehicle? Big, epic, mobile gaming Humvee with like TVs, gaming consoles, okay. probably enclose it in in the back. Okay, new upholstery, new seating. Yep. Okay, gotcha. I definitely now this... wanna probably uh, get it wrapped, do like a black camo pattern. There you go, yeah, this really doesn't cool. look like it's been painted since 94 when it was built, so. Yeah, so we'll just. Updated we'll camo. Just cover it. There you it's go. All right. We'll take it for a spin, see how she drives. All right, sounds good. So you've owned this vehicle for a couple weeks now, is it? A couple yep. days? So yep. you've, you've obviously. Weeks you're familiar with the starting system on this thing. There's no key, which is kind of unique to a yeah. Humvee. Why is that? Who knows? <laughs> Who honestly knows? In case someone knows? loses it, yeah, they like, don't want to deal with anyone. All um, right. This thing is really slow. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a uh, 6.0 liter non-turbocharged naturally aspirated engine. It puts out 150 horsepower. So it's not very strong, but it puts out 255 foot pounds of torque. So this thing is uh, it, it's really built for traction, not so much for speed. Right. Oh my gosh. I like how this thing floored. So you said you're from here, right? So I'm from Mississippi originally, um, but I moved to Florence when I was younger, okay. five or six years old. So I was uh, raised in Florence all my life. And then when I got married in 2013, I moved up to Raleigh. I enlisted in 08. Um, got stationed at, you know, we got put in the 133rd Military Police Company. So you Company. can live in North Carolina, I can live still, in North Carolina. Okay, that's... I could, I could IST, which is an interstate transfer, but I love my unit so much. I love the people in my unit. Right. Um, I decided just to, I don't want to transfer. That's cool. What's the top speed? Like 40 that you can go on this thing? 55 is pushing it. Right. Um, these vehicles can go upwards of 70, 75, um, but 55 is really kind of pushing it. Yeah. I don't have a paperweight! <laughs> oh, that was a terrible high five. I better redo that. Oh man. I think you got a really good vehicle here. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping. It's been a blessing having you here for real. That's what I'm here for. <sighs> So do you primarily work on Humvees or is there other vehicles that you work on when you... Primarily I work on Humvees. My unit um, has mostly Humvees, but I have worked on various other vehicles. LMTVs, which are larger cargo carrying vehicles. Okay. The ASV, which is an armored service vehicle. Um, and we're kind of doing away with those, thank goodness, because they are a pain They're paying to work, the work with. So I'm assuming oh, that's terrible. not your favorite. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> so are you a full-time mechanic as well? I'm or not, is this... no, no. So I, I live in North Carolina, as, as we talked about earlier. Yeah. Um, I work for the Wake County Clerk of Superior Court in the Estates Division. It's so like total opposite. Of... <laughs> completely opposite. <laughs> Being a mechanic. Yeah, completely opposite. So I, <laughs> I probate wills, appoint executors and administrators of estates once, you know, someone passes away and mm -hmm. oversee the administration of their estate. So you're not stuck doing one thing. You can kind of venture off and do exactly, whatever yep. you want. Your civilian career has no implications in your military oh, career. Oh, wow. That's fun. So when you're doing the walk around, you mentioned you'd been enlisted for almost 13 years. 13 years, yeah. So what made you decide to enlist in the first place? Well, I enlisted at the age of 17, a junior in high school. I was like a baby. I know, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life, right. um, so I figured join the guard. It'll buy me at least it'll buy me some time to figure out what I want to do. Right. Um, and then the six years flew by like that, and I reenlisted. What was and your reason to reenlist? Just because you enjoyed doing it. I enjoyed it doing it. I loved the people that I was around. My unit was awesome, yeah. uh, and the benefits were. I mean, Tricare is amazing. That's the insurance we have. Tricare, Tricare. is Tricare. Um, to put it into perspective, uh, when my wife got pregnant, from the time we found out she was pregnant till after we came home with our kid from the hospital, it was $75 out of pocket. What? The entire pregnancy. Oh my gosh. That in and of itself was worth six years. Right, years. yeah. Um, and it's just, there's so many other like perks, benefits. Right. Yeah, the, the VA home loan is a great one. Uh, right. So the VA home loan, you can, uh, the was VA. Was it like 1% down or no, not nothing even? nothing down. 
Um, zero dollars down. Um, they the VA caps the amount of interest they can be charged, um, and then if you stay in that house for six months, you can actually do an IRRL loan. Uh, it's an interest rate reduction refinance loan, mm -hmm. and you can drop your percentage point even further. No, uh, no down payment on that loan or anything. So. Oh my gosh! I wish I knew this like when I was like 17, 18 years old, because I probably would. I mean, that's just well, the enlistment cap. I think it's thirty-five, so you're still in the ballpark. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like who's this old grandma rolling up in here? <laughs> oh my gosh! I've been activated to uh, you know state active duty with hurricanes. Um, mm -hmm. Going on, I think seven years now. So every pretty year, streak. pretty much you've... every year. Oh my god! Now those activations typically only last a week or two, because um, right. you're you're there for hurricane duty. You know, you're helping out the local. So that's gonna feel good and rewarding exactly. to like be able to help. Exactly. You know, your fellow um, community and just stuff. Helping out, we uh, we fall under typically we fall under local law enforcement. We're helping them. You know, um, just. Uh, high water rescues mm -hmm. uh, it could be high water rescues or even just directing traffic for people outflow of the area right um, just you know making sure that everybody in that area that you are is you know safe and can evacuate as right needed. Thank you so much, Sergeant Jonathan Cole, for helping me out. There's so many things I learned about this vehicle, and I'm really glad I didn't end up buying a paperweight. Um, but this is going to be a series of videos we're going to do. Um, we're actually going to bring him back, and I'm going to learn some things like. What, oil change? And oil change. We're going to change these tires out. You need that desperately. Okay. So change the tires. Okay. We might put a little bit of a lift on it. Yes. Though we definitely have to do a lift. We'll for see. Sure. We'll see. It'll be fun. Anyway, see you guys next time.